friends. Everyone. Oops, let me try to hold this camera fairly steady because I don't have my uh, uh, holder that usually attaches to the to the uh, front of the car. Anyway, we're heading out um, to dinner, and that's to a place we've never been. It's yeah. called Ibisu Ramen House um, in East in Providence. Ohio. And it's um, it's actually one of two because there's another Ibisu Ramen House in uh, Providence itself uh, in the city. Uh, I don't know if it's downtown, but it's it's definitely in the city. So I love ramen. Not sure if that's what I'm going to end up having. I heard they have an extensive menu, and at the East Providence location, they also have sushi, which I know he will appreciate. Yeah, I'll get sushi. The Providence location, they um, they have shabu shabu which is the um, Japanese version of a hot pot. So I'm kind of excited for a new ramen place and uh, for some Japanese food. So I'm hoping that this is a good place and I'm hoping that you think it's a place you might want to try yourself. Um, but anyway, the review is coming up. So we'll see you soon. Yep. all minced inside. Of course, Dwayne is using his fork. Let me see. And you can see it minced inside as well. And they put it and on And they the put a little shrimp on top. So they have an entire menu page of what they call tapas. But this is four is big, really, huge really servings. Good. And it was six bucks. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. So this, this is, is edamame. Edamame with, with chili garlic oil. Chili. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of set this part to music. <laughs> uh oh, Dwayne's gonna be in heaven in about two seconds. Yeah, you are too with Wait, your little... I'm gonna have that, and this edamame looks amazing. Oh, Let me start with a little bite. But Let let's just watch him take his soft shell. Okay. I hear the crunch. Nice crunch. It does have a nice, like a vinegary. It's ponzu, it said. Mm. Which is why it's vinegary. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> okay. Nice to light better. Good pun. Oh. Soft chill like crab. And here's a close up. Very nice. And look, there's nice. Oh, no, that's a sesame paste, right? Mm -hmm. No, why don't you so try it out? The so, yeah. steamed shumai. Let's make sure of... you get. Mmm. It is. Melts in your mouth. Really good. 
I order shumai everywhere it's on the menu. Mm -hmm. These are the biggest, the most shrimp full. They are. The just skin on bursting. the wonton is really thin. And they put an extra shrimp on top, even though the inside is all minced shrimp. No. And I can even taste the garlic and the soy with vinegar sauce is amazing. And what is it, like $15? Like no, really? That was $7. No, well, for this order? Yeah. That was it? Wow. $7. Oh my god, yeah. We'll be here often after this. We, we can will already be. Tell. Oh yeah, this is great so far. Everything. Excellent. Really good. Did you try an edamame yet? You gonna try one? That was like, so I bite into it and just remember you're only eating, you have to, you're only eating that little seed out of there. So I bite it top to bottom and suck, pull the seed out. Wow, the outside. Yeah, but if you bite top to bottom and pull it, you'll get the seed. I got that's the all, seed. Yeah, that's all, there you go. They're awesome. Well, stuff oh. on the outside is amazing. It's like a chili mm. garlic. Yeah, it's this spicy. is, makes my, this my is lips much tingle. better than Any I've, I've had. Ever had? This is much better, really mm. nice. Mm -hmm. Give me a, a reason to kind of pull it through. And you can take this home if we have to. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that right there. Yeah. Because that is still hot. All of these so far, on point. Oh, everything's good. That's all that's left of the chili garlic edamame. Oh and that's Dwayne's pile of edamame yeah, skins. Pile. And this is my pile. Oh, look. One escaped and got covered. No, oh, no, one of the beans. Oh. It's spicy. Yeah. Garlicky yep. and salty. But yeah. Not be, like, they got really nice levels of each. Perfect. And, oh, I love it. That's a good. That's all that's we, left. I'm glad we got it. Four little pods oh, of edamame, and they're not going to stay. They're not going to last. Nope. Oh. Here he is. Look what he got. What is this called? This one, uh, Aramaki. Something Maki something. Farumaki. You know what it means. I know it. I have it though. But what's in it? Salmon. Avocado. Avocado. I think that's probably the fake crab. The crab meat. Yeah. But you know, it's got a. They use the light soy. You'd like that. See, I'm not sure on the um, Oh wasabi, my goodness, it's, it's ruining green. this video using a fork. Uh -huh. A fork for your roll. I'm trying to find out how hot the wasabi is. And? Yeah, I can just walk. There he goes. He ate the that entire one. bowl of chili edamame except for a handful that I had and they were delicious, but they were spicy. That's what it involves. The best bite when involves you eat prep. A sushi, it's a single bite. Go to Japan and you'll see. It's one bite. I think it's a What's that? soy paper on the outside. Oh, that's even better. I don't like seaweed. Yeah, it's not the seaweed. And it's good. It's very good. It's actually um fairly mild. None of the flavors are too too forward. And the salmon's really nice. It is a, like a sashimi salmon right, that's not right. cooked, which Good. is my favorite. So. Excellent. There we go. Now, you can finish that up. I did order a tom yum soup. Oh, yeah, we got some. And then we got a big bowl of ramen coming, a seafood bowl yeah, of ramen, as well as a chicken, um, I think it was a chicken teriyaki with a couple of sides. So uh, the chicken thigh. We're nice. anxiously waiting for our next course. Next one? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And the Tom Yum has arrived. Oh man, I love Tom Yum soup. I hope I'm not disappointed. Let's give it a try. Let me just see what it looks Let's like. See what we got. I see a shrimp. A lot of shrimp. Is that pepper? Yeah. Lemon grassy. I hope it's good. Lemon grassy. Give it a try. All right. Let's see what it looks Let's like. see what we got now. I see a shrimp. A lot of shrimp. Is that pepper? Yeah. Lemon grassy. I hope it's good. Lemon grassy. Uh, yeah, you check that out. I see some cucumber. I see some onion. Oh, it's hot. All right. I'm gonna What's try the dark broth. thing? Is that shiitake? Oh, yes. There's some shiitake, shiitake. in there. Let yeah. me just try the broth. You try that broth. Really good. 
Yeah. Oh, it's got a kick. <laughs> oh, nice. But really, really good. It's different than the Tom Yums that I've had at Thai restaurants, though. It's missing the vinegar beef base. Oh. It's a little less vinegar and a little more bright on the chili. A little chili more chili, oil. yeah. Really good. Hmm, I'm going to have to taste that. See what I think. I'll try, I want to try the broth somewhere. For sure. All right. Wayne's going to try some of my Tom Yum. All right, For hot. me, it needs a All little right. vinegar. Let me just, I'll start with a little shrimp, which they are hot. This is a, this soup is hot. The soup is hot, like mm -hmm. flaming hot. Um, the shrimp's well cooked. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's in the hot soup, so. And it's not over done, which no, is easy. No, I think do. they put them in at the very last minute, obviously. Oh, I must drop them. And that's a piece of shiitake, shiitake a little mushroom. bit of uh, some yeah. carrot, I believe, yep. with it. Shredded carrot. Wait, it's... I gotta get my favorite on there. Hold on. But is it lemongrass? Oh, well, I like the lemongrass too. But I was thinking uh, parsley, we'll parsley and yeah. uh, bok choy. Maybe? Bok choy, exactly. Very hot, be careful. Yeah, it looks really warm. It's like boiling. Yeah. So when I when yeah, you when I tried the shrimp, yeah, the chili didn't come through as much. Right. It definitely comes through, and um, I, the lemon, and the lemon, uh, lemon grass, lemon, lemon it's grass. Coming, you know, it's coming through. Yeah, got it. And what's that? Right. That looks like some celery. A little yep. bit of everything. Really, it's a nice blend. It is. It's more of a chili peppery as opposed it, it to a vinegary. It doesn't have that sour, slight sour that the Thai use when they make the same yeah, soup. Yeah, I think they do it differently through actual like citrus. Yeah. And this is adding a lemony flavor from a lemongrass. That's don't right. Get the citrus. Effect. That's right. I like the citrus effect. But it's very still good soup. Very though. nice. Yeah. yeah. This is yakitori, which is chicken thigh. Tori toro, chicken, chicken thigh, thigh with teriyaki, miso buttered broccoli, and kimchi fried rice. Well, it's a thigh. That's my favorite. And. Oh, a nice amount of teriyaki. Really? That does look amazing. And this is that butter. Miso butter. Now, what's the difference with a miso butter? I think it has the miso soy, maybe uh, melted down into it with butter. I want sweet. Oh, wow. And kimchi fried rice. You want to try the kimchi fried rice? That's what I essentially is, you order. Yeah, right? that's right. He wanted to try the kimchi. He's a kim I'm surprised you didn't even get a oh, side of kimchi. You can bring a side of kimchi home, hon. That may, uh, that may happen, right? Okay, that's the that beautiful nice kimchi bubble fried bubble. rice. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Good. Very smoky. A smoky kimchi. Yeah. Or maybe the fried rice Whatever because they the, cook I it think in the, the way wok. They do the fried is very smoky. Well, it's they 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 heat, they heat up the wok. Not like and real heavy soy, yeah. like you kind of expect more smoky. The kimchi is a, a note. Mm -hmm. It's not forward. It's, you it's have to. There. Maybe we should just and order some kimchi. Like I think you might like it because sure. it's not overwhelmingly like kimchi because kimchi, you're not a huge fan. I, I like I like kimchi, but I only like it in small, small incremental doses. And by the way, that is a seafood ramen with seafood uh, balls. Is it shrimp balls. Shrimp balls, yeah. Okay, let's start with a shrimp ball. I'm not sure how hot it is. We but. might have to add some hot sauce on, or chili oil to it if it's not quite right. What do you think? How's that broth? Mm. No, and I got the glass noodles that you like. Nice. Seafood broth, not super. Not spicy. No, no. Oh, it's not spicy. Oh, then we need to add some spice. I see your soft eggs. There's your little scallop right there. Yeah. Oh, here. Let me try a little piece of squid. Squid with a little baby bok choy. If I can get some. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. I got a bit of that. Yep. Big smile. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I put a piece of cardboard in the bottom so the bag won't break. Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent. We are going to heat this up a little. <laughs> yeah, a little hot oil. Let me just show them. This is on the table. This is like homemade hot chili oil, which is one of our favorite condiments. 
first you gotta stir it up because yep. it always settles. It does. Dwayne makes this. We have it at home. And we buy depending crispy on dried how chili. It is sometimes. But I like it with a little bit of vinegar and I like it with a little bit of uh, what um, can be, other spices, garlic. It can be very hot. Yeah, yeah, but I, I prefer the more Usually savory. It's Usually yeah. it's not too, too bad. But I'm going to mix this Be in a careful. little. Be careful. We can always add more. Yeah, that's why I'm just starting off easy. And, I'm going and those are the glass noodles. Well, let me go with a, a little bit of shiitake. Okay. Check out that hot oil and see if it made a difference. No? I gave it a little. Oh, we'll have to work on it then. What's that in there? I don't know. Well, that's squid. Okay. I'll see if I can get some noodles on it. You know what? I'll get some noodles. Oh, he's using his fork like a man in Italy instead of at a ramen restaurant. That's okay. You're supposed to use chopsticks and slurp. I'm just really good with the spoon. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Those are the kind of noodles you like, too. That looks great. All right, my turn. All right, Nidia is up. I'm going to try the chicken. Uh, start with that chicken. It looks very, very moist. Oh, it was nice and juicy. Oh, wow. Good mm. teriyaki flavor, right? You tell me. What do you chicken think? Chicken first with flavor. And we got the thigh, which is always a juicy. little fattier and way juicier. And look at, oh, there's a random fork sneaking look, over the, fork the plate. fork is coming over while I'm doing my... The thighs. Oh. And it has a smokiness to it because you can see that's charred mm -hmm. from the grill. All right, miso. Miso broccoli. butter. Broccoli. Which, like I said, you tell me. I found it sweet. Yeah. You let me know. It's sweet. It's sweet, right? I wonder what makes it sweet. Teriyaki? Oh, I don't think miso so. Miso butter? Something about the butter. Now, this is. You're not going to have to be afraid that it's going to be like, oh my, kimchi. It'll just be. A nice... It looks like there's pork in here, too. I don't know. There's something, something in there. Mm -hmm. Let me try it out. Very smoky. Right? The smokiness comes through. That's the forward flavor. The they smoke. said it was hickory smoked fried rice. I believe it. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> and the kimchi is nothing more than a note. Nope. I, I don't even taste the kimchi, and I'm not a kimchi yeah. big fan. That's, I why, like I th it, that's why I say I think you'd be okay with it, because... I wonder if this is the pork... Well, Maybe it's the kimchi. I don't know. No. Is it meat? It's meat. It is. No. It might be tofu. No, it's egg. Ah, there you go. Wow. But you know what? Now that I've spread it around, it's a little less eggy and a little less smoky. Okay. Very good. That's nice. I can see why it's uh, one of, as he said, he said it was one of the favorites of people who do like it. They the kimchi really... fried rice? Yeah. Oh, and you so, brought that little... Just so people can see, oh. we did get the soft yolk. Oh, oh, yeah. And these are these are the shrimp balls. Extra shrimp balls, yeah. And it comes with shrimp and with squid and with scallops. But let me just taste the broth first because... Can you taste that broth, see how it came well, out? Well, Dwayne added some uh, chili with oil. The chili, yeah. <clears throat> it almost needs a little salt for me, which means... You I know what, I thought that too. Um, this is low sodium. But it'll still so give I, you a bit of a salt kick. Yeah, it needs it for me. Nope, I was thinking the same thing. It was close, but I don't know. I want to see what you thought. It needs it. Yep. Now let me try I think it, it has a little bit of the chili came through. It's not... Okay, so that's better. Yeah, you like that. No. There's not a lot of chili coming through. Yeah. But it... Why don't I'm, you try the, the um, scallop? Because that's more your thing. The scallop? Yeah, because oh. you can judge the scallop that's in there. That's right. <clears throat> Hey, you, you see what thing and it is? It looks like a little bay scallop. That's not a sea scallop. It's not a that's sea a, scallop. That's a bay. So those are sweeter. Bay scallops we get locally. It's cooked perfectly. And it's like nice, tender, and it's in your mouth. you get that sweetness like from sweet, the bay. And very sweet, like first with, bay I mean, only like lobster and certain scallops and certain yeah. seafood is this sweet. You I don't know, know. Like Alaskan king crab, like the naturally co cold sweet. water shellfish and stuff is just the way to go. And the egg. The Although little, I need to kind of eat this egg in one half and yeah. one half. Oh, so. you're not just going to eat it? Oh, you can do it. A whole it. half egg in one bite? Sure, why not? Be brave. You can do it. 
All right, well, do not your best. Quite me. All right. Oh, look, notice I see the color is a little different. It took some of the broth color. It's not just mm -hmm. white. Yeah, it took some of the broth color. Maybe I'll just bite it to half. Better. All right, see what you do. Mm. Soak up some of that flavor. I love egg yolk. I really yeah. Do. And it is. It's, it's nice and soft, but it's not runny soft. It's mm -hmm. kind of a, in the middle. But it's really good. But it's still nice and soft. Yeah. It's yummy. Absolutely. All right, well. Let's finish this up. We're going to finish that. I'm very close to cleaning that plate. And we still got some work to do over here. Yes, we but do. it is all. So this has just been a real pleasure. Absolutely. And we will see you when it's over in the end. Maybe there's a dessert on there. I'm not, not sure yeah. what they've got. They have fried ice cream. Oh, well, we'll think about that. And they have other things. We'll look. Looks really good. We have. I'm gonna try one green bite. tea fried ice cream. Oh, it really is green tea. Look inside. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's crunchy. I almost have to use my hand. Oh to man. Get through the. I like fried shell. ice cream. I, I always have it when I go to like a Mexican or a certain Italian. But this one with the green tea. Oh, there you go. Mm. That one's a little different. It's good though, huh? That's all I can afford. Huh. Oh, so I guess the rest is me. I'll let you know. Dwayne's turn for the green tea fried ice cream. I'm going to try a little bit with my maraschino. It's really good. It's not that sweet. It's a good maraschino. Oh, but I'm saying the green tea ice cream is not that sweet. And the outside um, coating doesn't have any powdered sugar like most mm. do. Mm. I like it. It's a nice texture and it's still warm. Perfect. It's like a donut. You're right, it's doughy. It's very much like a, um, you know that fried, just a fried plain donut? Yeah. And the green tea is nice, it's not strong. No, it's very mild. It's a nice, um, yeah, this is a nice finish. That's what I like, you know, I think that's what they did with a lot of flavors here. They are, you know, highlights and accents and notes and things, and nothing was that we had was really like, strong. strong anywhere. Well, except for the chili and garlic with the edamame. And we did not order the things that come in fiery or, I mean, you, no. have, you can have a heat level attached. But I was able to just like go right through it, but I do like hot. Right. But yeah. I was able to just really work through it. And this is really nice. I, I think it'd be a good one shared more, but yeah. unfortunately my sharing is mostly. Okay. But that's okay, okay I'll I do my best. I can do what I do. Mm -hmm. And you've done good. All right, everybody. So that was the Bisu and A plus. I mean, there's really no other. Five stars for me. Five stars, A plus, however you want to call it. Uh, Affordable and amazing quality. I mean, we spent a bit, but we ordered half the menu, so that's what happens, you know. Plus, we had a couple of drinks each. Usually, we I usually only have the one, but it was very good, and the drinks are reasonable. It was a good price, so yeah. uh, absolutely. I, uh, I can see why this is a second spot, and not just the first. And yeah. White has and, four and a half stars on Yelp. And, I mean, we ordered so many things, and I'm telling you, I would definitely try so many more from this place. And we have lunch this, for tomorrow from Leftovers. Yeah, we do. We got something to have for tomorrow. And we need the lunch tomorrow. So, so if you like sushi, yep. and if you sushi, like ramen, ramen, and Japanese food. Oh, the cuisine, dumplings were great. Oh, they I were amazing. I was very impressed with the dumplings. And I'm more, you're the dumpling person. Me, I like them. Very good. I was really surprised how well. We got the shrimp one, the shumai. And, and, and the, no, we got the shumai. Yeah, the right. shumai, yep. And so, the edamame with the garlic oh. <laughs> uh, and chili oil. We need the entire bowl. Every, every last bit. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Here we are, East Providence, Rhode Island. It's Unassuming from the outside. Don't be fooled. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all about what's inside. And very nice inside too, with a full bar. Oh yeah. And nice, clean, really nice, nice atmosphere. Really, really nice. They didn't blast you out with the music. It was pretty oh, good. Great. So, all right. Windy. Wayne and Edia. Windy. We're traveling yeah. fun. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye. See Next ya. Time. Remember, ring the bell, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.